Hey everybody, this is Chuck Marone with Strong Towns. I'm in Amesbury, Massachusetts, and I wanna show you something that's pretty cool. I'm in the core downtown right now. It's actually a really great place. It's, uh, you know, it's a northeastern town, so it's inherently walkable. It grew up and matured at a period of time when cities were walkable. And so its bones, the way it's laid out, kind of everything about it has that walkable feel. In the, I'm guessing 1950s, I don't really know when exactly, the state ran the highway through the middle of the city. And unlike in my part of the world, the Midwest, where they picked like, you know, the path where they could tear down the old blighted buildings, here you kind of had to run through pretty mature neighborhoods. One of the byproducts of this is that right in the middle of town, there is a traffic circle that was kind of left over. And I'm gonna get my, you can see it right up here. What this does, instead of a traffic signal, right, instead of a light in the middle of town, it brings everybody in and it forces them to do a hard left around this really just, it's kind of like a pole and a little bit of concrete in the middle of the intersection. I'm standing here on the edge of the street. Traffic is going really slow. It's actually really quiet here. I mean, it's not kind of that loud, obnoxious traffic noise you get in a place like my hometown of Brainerd. You got traffic signals the whole way. Everybody here has to go slow. If you get the green light, you get to go fast. If you get the red light, you gotta stop. Here, everybody has to drive like moderately slow. And what it does is it just makes, despite what right now in rush hour is kind of a higher traffic volume, it makes the space comfortable to be next to. There isn't the loud, obnoxious noise. There isn't the really, really fast traffic. And guess what else it does? It makes traffic flow really well. You actually are able to kind of get around in the city uh, without sitting at the red light, without wasting your time. And my guess is that if you live in Amesbury, you can get through town in a relatively short period of time, even though you're driving really, really slow. The trade-off that most of us make in our cities is that you get to drive fast when you get the green light, faster than you otherwise would. And in exchange for that, you have to sit and go zero, you know, not move at all for a long period of time. The net travel time tends to be around 11, 12 miles an hour is like your average speed, right? When you average out that 30 mile an hour with the zero mile an hour, you get somewhere from a time standpoint of an overall average travel time of like 11, 12 miles an hour. Here in Amesbury, you're probably going 15 miles an hour all the time, right? Um, you never have to stop. You never get that absolute, like, I can't move. You just flow slowly through the entire city. And what it means is that the city is a lot nicer than most cities. Uh, it does accommodate a fair amount of traffic and everybody gets to where they're going a lot quicker. Um, traffic circles, you know, out in my part of the world, we are still stuck in the highway mindset. So we over engineer everything. But here in this part of the world where it was all built before the highway engineers, the highway engineers have had to adapt to the city. It's remarkable what they can do.